In the 17th century, there was not yet a culture of general publication and of claiming your results through publication. Uh, some mathematicians were fairly willing to publish and make their results known. Newton was not one of those. He was always rather averse to publishing. Publica publication plays many roles. I mean, one purpose of it is to claim your results. Um, but at the same time, it gives away your results to other people and you may not want to do that. Newton was very adept at letting people know what he knew without telling them how he knew it. And so he would give them results without telling them how he had found his results. And this really led to an industry for many years afterwards of people having to comment on Newton and to untangle how he had discovered what he did. And so, for instance, when he wrote to Leibniz in 1676, he gave away some of his key results, his key infinite series of which he was so immensely proud. But he said very little about how he got those series. He gave a few clues, but not really enough for anyone to reconstruct what he'd done if, if you didn't already know. So it's as though he's giving away a few jewels, but without telling you where he's dug them up. Uh, another example of this is actually over the calculus itself, where he gave away to Leibniz that he'd found an inverse method of fluxions, as he called it. So he discovered this inverse property between differentiating and integrating. And he wrote this to Leibniz in the form of a cipher, where he took a Latin sentence that described what he could do. He took the first letter of every word in Latin and he strung those letters together and so you simply get a string of letters. Of course that's absolutely impossible to decipher, totally impossible. You can't ever put the paragraph back together but it does enable Newton later to say well this is the paragraph I had in mind and I knew this all along and this was my way of laying claim to it. So he's making his claims without giving very much away.